Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create an infinite scrolling background. So let's see how to do that. So in order to make an infinite scroller, so I'm going to make background system. So in order to make that, let's create a quad. Okay, we have a quad here. So we want to apply this. I have a one background here. So I want to apply this background to this quad. Okay, in order to apply, I am going to create a material. So let's name it as BG. So drag and drop the BG to the albedo and drag and drop the material to the quad. So the material has been applied to that quad game object. So next is we are going to increase the size of the BG. Okay. So let's make it as landscape. Okay, maximum landscape 18 is 9. So let's increase the size. So don't scale here. So otherwise you get some pixelation problem. Try to avoid most probably. Try to scale evenly. Two, two, two. Let's maybe 9. Okay, maybe 19 might be fine. Okay, everything has been done. So you can't be able to scale evenly more than this. So at that time, try to use a camera. Okay. So change the projection from perspective to orthographic since it's 2D. So try to reduce the size maybe. Maybe something. 15. Maybe scale on the particular axis now. Okay, this was great. So let's see, try to reduce the camera degree. Okay, that. So the scale on the Z axis and I'm sorry, on X. Okay, everything has been done now. So next thing is what we are going to do is we have uh, make the arrangement for the BG. So next we are going to we are going to we are going to make this BG as an infinite scroller. So in order to do that, let's see in what way we can be able to do. So if we see here, you can be able to see one was primary mid map and secondary mid map. In that you can see a offset x, offset y. So if you scale the top set, you can able to make some manipulation of the data. So if you scale the main map, you can able to change the position. If you like to change on left to right, you can able to do on the plus sign. If you like to do the scroller on the left side, you, you want to do negative. If you like to do in y axis, you can able to do like this. So I don't like to tweak or the y axis I like to move the my scene view my scene background in the form of the x axis so I am going to make the I am going to make uh, increment of your offset x so that is the idea let's see how to do that in a script okay let's create a script maybe name infinite okay let's a uh, script like this drag and drop the script to the quad and open the script So if you see in this, if you see here, you can be able to see the you first of all the material has been present in mesh render. So you want to get the mesh render first. So in order to get the mesh render, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write mesh render mat mr equal to this dot get component. This game object or get component of mesh render. So this is the idea. So with the help of a mesh render, we are going to fetch the data from the material. Okay. So in order to get the data from the material, what I am going to do is I am going to write material mat equal to mr dot 
get component top material okay so what i done with the help of the mesh render i got the data from the mesh render and apply to the material as a new material okay next we want to i'm sorry for this these are the problems oh, fine so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to tweak the expression of a main mid path not a secondary mid path so we are going to tweak this value so in order to do that what i am going to do i want to tweak the offset okay so i am writing as vector 2 offset equal to mat we are going to get the mat and then main texture offset so it will receive the offset value of the main texture so if you write there is one more texture called secondary texture uh, so we you don't want to worry about the secondary texture you want to make sure that it's a main texture of object so i get the main texture since it's a main texture data not a secondary map data okay make sure that you are going you are trying to tweak only a main texture offset of x okay so we receive the main texture offset so with the help of the main texture offset we are going to add some value called time dot delta time okay so it's going to have some increment value so you want to add over here okay that's it so after receiving the offset we have applied to that new variable in order to add to the old game object just get the mat and then main texture offset so we have done the calculation so what we are going to do after doing the calculation with the help of the offset we want to apply to that material so that is the task so what i am going to do is mat dot main texture offset equal to offset so it will calculate the data over here whatever the value is being added to the offset dot h and will be applied to that material dot main texture material dot main texture it will it will be applied directly to that particular material of the mixture so that's it so let's see how it works so we don't have we haven't got any error so everything has been success now hit play and see so we have some error there is no material attached to the part sorry i must be mean So m or dot material. It's not a get dot get component. So it has been subcategory of this. So it's not a particular. Uh, it's not a separate. Uh, it's not a separate component. It has been present in material. So that's why it's shown error. So it has been a part of a mesh render. So you should use a dot vector and you want to get the material. I mean dot product and you want to get the material. Okay. So now we don't show any error. I hope. So try to save the project and hit play. Yeah. So now everything has been worked fine. So this is it. So if you like to tweak the st speed of a particular thing, you can add public speed. Yes, maybe add float speed. Okay. So let's uh, do it in editor. We have it try to add one, so it is a normal case. Speed to be multiplied over here. Okay. So now we can quit. Oh, it's done. Perfect. So in this way, you can able to see the speed of a particular movement. For example, if it is level one, you can slow the speed. In level two, there if there is a flappy flap board or something flying, you can increase the speed at level two so that it will looks like very very difficult to for the player in order to move a particular object. Even if it is a flappy bird or aeroplane or helicopter, some kind of system type of game which you are trying to. So that's it. If you like to do in opposite direction. It's not an issue. You can have uh, negative. So 
it will be in opposite direction. So that's it. So if you like to have up, if you want to apply in y axis or talk to bottom maybe some scholar kind of effects you can able to do like this so you can tweak bot bottom to top or top to bottom so whatever the direction you like to do so you can able to tweak so it will be in top to bottom now so whatever the direction you like to do you can able to do that uh, so that's it so let's say yeah so top to bottom so i don't like to do on my axis it's a, since it's a x-axis thing so I, let me remain in this this time okay so that's it so if you think this video is very helpful for you please subscribe us i'll see you next video bye